Perched on the Atlantic, the Three Kings warn you that this sprawling city rewards only guts and beagle. Lagos is seen as the melting pot of people and cultures in West Africa. Nigerians call it the center of excellence, but not all of Lagos is in excellent condition. Tucked away in the ampit of Yaba, an iconic transit nerve center of Lagos, is this watery enclave. This is Makoko, a labyrinth on water. Each bend marks the end of a challenge, while the next offers its own tests. Survival is a unifying creed. In the deep reaches of Makoko, a training is ongoing. It could be the difference between life and death. This is the way Matthew had did. So first thing where you go do, Matthew, Matthew, you call him. Matthew, 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 no answer me. Matthew, keep your hand. Relax. What thing go do you? Matthew, Matthew, no answer you. Check mouth. Whether something don't chop something inside the water. If nothing there, you go CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You go for Looking at the environment. They, they need a lot of experience in first aid to be able to survive in this kind of environment. Um, we, we came up um, with a module called um, Dr. No Day. This is like a way of um, um, teaching the regular civilian living around this area on the importance of first aid and how to go about it. You must not be a doctor to be a first aider. You could be anyone, you could be a child. It could do first aid appropriately, like the way doctors would do it. It's like someone fall inside water. No one have the idea of pressing or doing anything. What they would do, like, like take the person to hospital, and sometimes before they will take the person to the hospital, the person will give up. But with this now, it will help the community. If you do this thing, you can rescue anybody. Doctor No Day is a first aid training scheme. It is the brainchild of Chuma, a young Nigerian entrepreneur with a penchant for providing simple answers to complex issues. It is designed to provide hands-on knowledge for immediate assistance in an environment where access to Medicare is almost inexistent. It's from our Pidgin English and it says there is no doctor. That's what it translates to. Now that project is aimed at communities where Within a two, three hundred or four hundred meter radius, there is no doctor. Now, it's a first aid training uh, for people that are semi literate or illiterate, English wise. So, you don't go in there with your regular slides to teach first aid training. Um, we go there and sit with them and then teach them the basics of first aid. The whole idea is if any first aid, if any emergency situation comes up, at least you would have first responders that would be able to hold the situation down while the person is being moved to a hospital. I mean, that is a direct impact. For every person we train, it means there's one person to save a life. As a concept, Chuma blends a feasible idea with the realities in Makoko in evolving a solution. That solution is a product of design. For Chuma, design is the beginning of all things man-made. Each day provides Chuma an opportunity to deal with new and existing challenges in his vicinity. 
Utilizing time, space, and the elements, he weaves an intricate web, fusing opportunities, ideas, and solutions in an attempt to recreate an ideal world. Chuma's world, Mbari Uno. One of the problems we want to solve is to have that database where people can easily make reference to, they just log online. And so we've been chronicling and documenting all of that. The hub basically becomes, uh, is an, a gathering point of uh, knowledge sharing of people from a certain mindset which, which uh, have the capacity to make impact in society. At the end of the day, it's all about human development, really. The internet provides the platform, but design is a denominator in an artistic community passionately focused on breaking barriers and creating an idyllic environment. Design for me, for us, for Nigeria, for Africans, is something we cannot shy off from. It's the time has come. If we say we want to be made in Nigeria, we want to promote made in Nigeria goods and services, before you make anything, you have to design it, you have to plan it, you have to develop the drawings, you have to develop the framework in which that idea, that product would exist or would pass through and come to fruition. So it's something that has come on us and I think we are, we are positioned, Mbarino is positioned at that curve, that tipping point where we move from being a consumer economy to a design economy, to a product manufacturing and design um, economy. Chuma's Umbari Uno is a response to Africa's seeming unawareness about the growing competition around it. The networking platform prefers solutions to vulnerabilities in almost every sector. For instance, the loops in the housing sector offer a plethora of opportunities for designs that targets Africa's unique attributes. Most of the buildings we have today need artificial cooling. But our forefathers built houses without artificial cooling and their houses remain cool even more than what we have today. These are the things we should be looking at as architects, as designers. We should be looking at our environment. Okay, it's the tropics. The white man looks at his environment and designed a chimney. Yeah, which is natural. We are looking at our own. We have not been able to develop a natural cooling system. Just imagine how much we would save on capital uh, cash flights, uh, uh, importation, uh, and how we would improve our GDP if we were able to develop just cooling system. So this is a photo studio. The Umbaru Uno concept is warehoused in Ikeja, Lagos. It is a building with a life of its own, a multidisciplinary incubator catering to many tastes. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today I have the privilege of making for you guys uh, sweet uh, jacket sweet potatoes, which I think are ready. You can see the steam here, yes? Uh, and a grilled salad. Now by grilled salad I mean some elements of the vegetables go on the grill. And that's what we try to do here at uh, Coles Bistro. We try, try and make uh, grilled food more interesting, more palatable, more unique. Trying to bring a wow experience uh, to it. So I think I'll done with the talking for now and uh, get to do what I do best, which is chopping vegetables. Most of the hubs we know don't have restaurants. Um, they just rely on any nearby restaurants to... It just makes sense that if you have a, a building, a space where human beings commune daily and converge, uh, eating is one of the things we need to take care of. So naturally we've included a small cafe and the bistro, um, basically grilled stuff, because we also tie the essence to being African as truly as possible. Um, within here, we have um, spaces for a rapid prototyping studio. We have a design firm residence here, 
Um, we have a photo studio, we have a recording studio, and then of course we do video uh, recording and editing and shooting and all of that. Um, all of this is supposed to support the programs that happen within the hub. Um, we have co-working spaces. Naturally, you want people to be able to come in and work. Um, we have co-working spaces. Uh, we have a conference room, uh, meeting rooms. And then we have a lounge uh, where people can sit. The lounge doubles as a place for product showcase. In fact, where we are sitting is what would eventually become the lounge. Um, it will have product display shelves. It will have reading tables and book display shelves. So it, it's a, a combination of a library, uh, a retail space and a, 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 a retail shop. Schumer is not the chef, but is cooking up an idea. The aroma offers a tantalizing future for the continent. After all, Africa is a continent where opportunity lives. I think we are going to be in a very good place in the near future because if, if I take a few steps back, a few months back when we had plans, all we had was plans and it was all in the air and we are going all over Nigeria talking to whoever we need to talk to and yes, people keyed into the idea but knowing us, if it's not tangible, then nobody really wants us to shift. Now we have something that is tangible. As I speak to you, there's somebody in Benin City that is already saying, oh, I have three floors for you. Can you come and take up this space and set up a home? There's a place in Ibadan which is ready for us to use. Um, we already made contact in Accra, so I, I wouldn't know how fast it will go. But being a social impact uh, uh, venture project, I think it will move very fast. Um, uh, what may delay us may also be the function of our environment in terms of our realities. But with aside, that aside, I think it's going to take off very fast. And I would say it's a bit scary for me because I, I didn't envisage it to go this fast. <laughs>